everyone, and welcome back to The Final Review. My name is Sydney, and I'll be your host for this six-segment video series for Dr. Rivers and his public rhetoric class. So today we'll be talking about another classic installment of the Final Fantasy series, which brings an array of lovable, crazy, dirty magazine-loving, introverted characters into one whole set. So hold on to your hats, guys. I am talking today about Final Fantasy VIII. Originally premiering in Japan on February 11, 1999, Final Fantasy VIII was released in North America in September of that same year for the Sony PlayStation and for Windows Microsoft Personal Computers. In Japan, it roughly sold 2.5 million units within the first four days of its release, and more than 6 million units were sold in total by the end of 1999. Thirteen weeks after its release, Final Fantasy VIII had earned more than $50 million in U.S. sales, making it the fastest-selling Final Fantasy installment of all time. And as of now, Final Fantasy VIII is still available for its original Sony PlayStation form and downloadable in the PlayStation Network and for PC digital download. Following two story arcs, this game is focused around cadet Squall Leonhardt, a 17-year-old student training at a prestigious mercenary academy. To avoid vulnerability, he keeps everyone at a certain distance. But, as Squall joins the Seed mercenaries, his missions lead him to encounter past acquaintances, make new friends, and contemplate the visions of the mysterious man, Laguna Loire. Laguna is the laziest, daydreamingest, most goofy military man on the face of the planet. He quits the military alongside his friends and soon travels the world to find his little niece alone, kidnapped by a powerful sorceress because of Alone's special powers. Squall is able to assist Laguna's quest through a series of flashbacks where he and his friends dive into Laguna's past and lend him their powers during a long and wild journey across the world. Because who wouldn't want to dive in a goofy stranger's meat suit and watch him feel miserably at flirting with women? Eventually, Laguna and Squall's pasts and presents align in a coming world war to destroy a powerful sorceress from the future. The battle system in Final Fantasy VIII uses a similar active time bar as Final Fantasy VII, but with some big changes. The only way to use the ATB system to its full potential is through a new feature, the Junction System. Through equipping and leveling up summoning creatures called the Guardian Forces, or GF for short, the Junction System allows players to use battle commands other than attack, such as using items, summoning a GF, and turning enemies into playing cards. The junction system can also be used to boost character stats and give elemental and status effects to weapons and armor. Attributes through leveling a GF can be customized for each player's needs, and players can unlock more attributes as you use the GFs and find other GFs to collect. Another feature presented in Final Fantasy VIII is the draw system. And instead of relying on limited magic points, players can draw magic from enemies and magic hotspots throughout the world and then use them immediately in battle. Players can also junction draw magic to further strengthen a player's attributes or weapons in the game. The computer-generated imagery, initially in developing stages in Final Fantasy VII, is brought to new heights in Final Fantasy VIII. The newfound sophistication and character design brings a new visual experience to the Final Fantasy franchise. The Popeye-armed character models of Final Fantasy VII have been completely replaced, with characters now anatomically proportioned to how a human would look like in reality, and in proportion to the background. The ballroom cutscene is a special pick among the events of this game that show a big step in the CGI technology and now players can enjoy a more dazzling story. A 
However, some of the inconsistent plot points of Final Fantasy VIII brings into question certain events of the storyline, cultivating an absurd amount of rumors around the whole story. A big example would be the theory of Squall's death at the end of Disc 1, and the possibility of a dream or hallucination-like state throughout the rest of the story. This rumor questions the scene when Sorceress Adia stabs Squall with an ice javelin and he is seen falling off a parade float. In the next scene, he wakes up in prison and recollecting his memories, but soon discovers he has no wound and the story does not mention how he would have survived. This rumor is often challenged because alone special power is to stream one's consciousness into another person's past that she knows. Squall wouldn't have known about certain events or characters explained throughout the game involving the sorceresses or Laguna without alone connecting Squall's consciousness to Laguna. And I'm pretty sure you can't do that when somebody is just dead. Alone's power only works on the premise that she can put people's consciousness into another person's past. Only their past. The music of Final Fantasy VIII oftentimes has been described as dark and brooding because of some of the Latin-inspired choral chants and softer, sometimes sad piano-filled ballads that represent the game's recurring themes of loss and resentment. These Latin chants and piano ballads seek to convey the emotions of each character, and the game's music is certainly dark when it is needed, or passionate, electronic, and bright, just like Laguna's flashbacks. The song, Eyes on Me, was inspired by the love between Squall and the character Renoa, and is the first lyrical song serving to the game's central theme. So, even though Final Fantasy VIII has its hiccups in the plot, the story focuses more intently on the character's high school-esque drama with sweeping themes of love, loss, bitterness, and the appreciation of life. My rating for Final Fantasy VIII is an 8.5 out of 10. So I hope you all enjoyed this video half as much as I enjoyed making it. Please tune in next time for we'll be talking about the next installment of the Final Fantasy series, Final Fantasy IX. So stick around and I'll see you then. Bye.